We're here in Ghent this week at the Museum of Fine Arts to witness, among other things, the resurrection of Jules de Breuker, an interesting artist uh, who uh, hasn't been shown at all in Belgium for a number of years. Here he is with his work Figures in a Waiting Room. This is probably a railway station waiting room. Uh, you can see Beware of the Pickpocket spelt incorrectly, Paz of the Divan underneath. This couple clearly not happy um, with the, the ragged, dodgy look on the men sitting opposite, opposite them. He, was, uh, he painted his frequent haunts, basically. He went out into the street around where he lived and, uh, and painted what he saw. De Breuker was something of a child prodigy in that he went to the uh, Art Academy very young, as a boy in fact, and used to be um, a well-known Belgium artist. Um, I don't know why he's been forgotten, uh, undeservedly so, no doubt. Um, he uh, escaped Belgium to England during the First World War. Uh, during the Second World War, he was actually so well known that the German occupiers actually asked him to, to collaborate in, in both sense of, of the word. Um, he refused. Um, this is the parade of the Vigilante Patrol in Ghent from 1912. This is uh, a portrait of Franz Mazarel, who was um, a big friend of uh, the Breuker. Um, the Flemish community of artists uh, was and possibly still is small enough. Uh, for everyone to know each other. If you want to check out Mazarel's work, it's uh, on display in Ostend. This is the uh, On Paper exhibition in Ghent, and in addition to unknown artists, we have some of Belgium's better known uh, artists, including Fritz van den Berger, who was one of the uh, Flemish uh, expressionists. In fact, he went through three different styles. He started out doing a type of impressionism, then became an expressionist and ended up as a surrealist. Uh, uh, was uh, into uh, dreams, uh, claimed that uh, dreams were a type of reality. Um, and uh, if you like gossip, he ended up um, leaving his wife for one of his models, actually. This is a small figure kneeling from 1896 by Georges Mean, uh, who was a big fan of Rodin. In fact, he uh, went to visit Rodin shortly before he finished this and showed him some photos and said, what do you think? Um, Rodin said, I haven't got any advice to give you. Work alone, you'll get there somehow. Um, the similarities are perhaps uh, obvious, though. Uh, Mean's work is thought to be more angular uh, um, than Rodin's. Mean at one point uh, went through a bit of a crisis and thought that his sculptures didn't have enough movement, so he actually went back to school to study anatomy. Uh, this one is called A Bust of a Man.